Hey what's up you guys, it's me Luke and welcome back to another video or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So before we get into this video, just a little disclaimer, I am really really sick right now. <coughs> Um, anyway, so, <laughs> if I cough or if I sneeze or if I, I don't know, just die, um, that's why. Okay, cool, moving on. So, today's video is a follow-up video to a video I made a few days ago. That video was titled, Everything Wrong With James Charles and Did Tati Westbrook Just End His Career? If you would like to watch it, I will go ahead and link it down below. However, this video is a follow-up to that video and a lot of my thoughts and opinions have changed. Now, if you've been keeping up with this drama, which, by the way, this will be the last video I make on it. It's the second and the last because I just can't. I honestly don't understand how drama channels do it. It's exhausting. Like one minute you say something, the next minute more information comes out and your opinion completely changes. It's honestly ridiculous. I was gonna make a video about this yesterday, but I knew that Jeffrey was coming out with a video, so I wanted to watch that first so I could give you my concluding thoughts. His video just came out a couple of hours ago. I've been processing that and processing his video, Tati's videos, James' videos, and trying to come up with my concluding thoughts. And today I thought that I would go ahead and make a video about how toxic the beauty community is and expose every single one of those motherfuckers. So today we will be talking about Tati. Westbrook, Jeffrey Star, James Chihuahua, sorry, <coughs> James Charles, Gabriel Zamora, and Nikita Dragon. Um, I know there are other beauty gurus in the mix, but these are the ones at the moment that are currently at the forefront of this toxicity, which is disgusting. Disgusting! I'm just gonna drink some water to go ahead and cleanse my insides. Anyway, so today I will be going through every one of them and exposing everything wrong with them because all of you- <laughs> Some of y'all about to be real mad at me. But it must be said. Y'all are messed up. And this beauty community is literally so fucking toxic. Like, when do these people actually do makeup? Like, when? Do they just sit around and create drama? Because I feel like they talk and create drama more than they actually do make makeup. And it's really disappointing to me that Tati is involved in this because she was never like that. She was always just about makeup, not about the drama. But you know what? At the end of the day, it is what it is. And today, we're going to be discussing all of that. So go ahead and grab yourself some tea or a snack because today's video is going to be real fucking juicy and I'm not going to hold back. Okay, cool. So, first of all, we we first saw Tati's video, which was Goodbye Sister, which we spoke about in the previous video. And in that video, Tati detailed all of these things that James Charles allegedly did. Now, I'm not going to get into this because I already spoke about this, but basically based on that video, I was very, very disgusted and disappointed in Mr. James Chihuahua. And then after that video, a video by Sam, who is the waiter from Seattle that James Charles allegedly sexually harassed or whatever, came out and made a video as well. Now, his video was really odd and contradictory. It had some illegal footage at the end of it he recorded a um, video of him FaceTiming James Charles, which he later had to delete, but once shit's on the internet, it's on the internet, honey. So that was a whole other fat mess. But basically, my point is that everything that Tati said, while it did sound really bad and extremely believable. I now question the validity of it because at the end of the day, Tati didn't really have any receipts, whereas James Charles did. In James Charles' response video, which was called No More Lies, he had a lot of different receipts to go ahead and debunk some of the allegations against him and to prove himself innocent. So basically, I have come to some thoughts about James Charles and what I think. I'm not going back on everything I said. I do still stand by some of the things that I said. I do still believe that James Charles is extremely egotistic and lets the fame get to his head, which you know what, he admitted that in his video, so you know what, props to you James, he says he's gonna take some time off to go ahead and recuperate and recollect his thoughts. I've definitely noticed quite a lot of comments talking about my ego or my attitude getting the best of me and getting to my head, and I appreciate the constructive criticism and feedback, and after a lot of reflection, I think you're right. And at the end of the day, I know people don't like it when people say this, but he is 19 years old, I'm 19 years old. We make stupid mistakes, we're young. At the end of the day, Jeffree Star and Tati Westbrook are in their 30s. They're full grown adults and they're behaving really immature, especially Jeffree. You know, I still hold respect for Tati, but my respect for Jeffree has kind of just dwindled by the wayside. We will get into that in this video because I've got some, I've got some words for Mr. Jeffree Star because whew, whew, child, I am unimpressed. James went ahead and showed some receipts of his interactions with the Sam guy and Sam had explicitly told James that he was bisexual or bi-curious and that was that was done and dusted like and he even admits this in his video and he admits that their makeout sesh was consensual on both parties. A few minutes into the conversation I asked him about his sexuality and he told me straight up that he was bisexual. Oh my god you tried to trick a straight man into thinking he's gay. There was no straight men being manipulated anywhere in the story like Tati mentioned. Later on he messaged me first and told me 
me, hey, straight up, I've never done anything with a guy before, I'm a little bit nervous, um, to which I told him there was absolutely no pressure. This is all shown in the screenshots. Sam showed up at the hotel, we watched a movie together, and we cuddled. After the movie, I asked him if he wanted to kiss, to which he said, Yes. And after that movie, he asked to kiss me. I said yes. And we ended up making out for around an hour. So I personally don't see any sexual predatory behavior in that situation. You know, the guy didn't say he was straight until after James and them had already made out. Um, and James also spoke about how there have been a lot of people coming out saying that he sent predatory DMs to people. And in the past, whenever I have found a guy cute on Instagram or on social media, I have slid in the DMs with a simple hello or a nice compliment. If anybody ever made it clear that they were not interested, or were not gay and didn't want to talk, I always apologized for the unwanted attention and the conversation was put to a halt immediately. So this one singer, Zara Larson, she said that he sent her boyfriend repetitive DMs even though he knew that he was straight and in a relationship. However, James says that he only sent him one and Zara Larson later confirmed this. So I do believe that there were a lot of people jumping on the bandwagon, adding to this hate towards James Charles. And you know, while I do have my issues with James Charles, I don't think it's right. And at the time I did think it was getting extremely out of hand. I think that the way that people were behaving was honestly animalistic. Is that a word? I don't know. But it just goes ahead and shows how toxic this community is. I don't feel like any other community on YouTube is this insanely toxic as much as the beauty community. And for a community that is all about beauty, all of ugly and you behave in a really ugly manner. I'm not gonna lie, like, I'd be lying if I said the memes weren't funny. I was actually speaking to some of my friends about this and I was like, while I do think James Charles needs a wake-up call, I'm honestly concerned for his well-being because this is a lot. Like, when you think about it, his entire life is this and I was honestly concerned for his mental health and I'm really, really glad that he said that he's doing better now and he's gonna get some help because I do not think that somebody's mental health should be destroyed over drama like this and it would honestly be really sad if anything bad happened to James if he did anything bad to himself because of this. So that was a concern of mine, but I'm glad to know that he is okay. However, I'm glad that he also realizes that this was a wake-up call for him. I do take full responsibility for sending these messages, and this situation has definitely taught me that sending messages that are so forward and direct like this are unacceptable, and I no longer will do that moving forward. And he does need to, you know, check back with reality and, you know, <laughs> lower that ego a little bit. So I'm really glad that he's gonna use this as a learning experience, and hopefully moving forward, James James Charles starts to alter his ways because the, my issues with him still stand. He is still extremely egotistical and entitled. I don't think he's a sexual predator. I take back that. I also think that James Charles needs to be extremely, extremely careful with the situations that he gets himself into, which, you know what, I think he realizes that because he keeps going after straight boys or, you know, sexually ambiguous boys, whatever. I do realize that James Charles has, um, let's not use the word fetish this time. Let's just say he has an attraction to more masculine guys, but I for one and many other people can attest to the fact Okay, <clears throat> nobody asked for your opinion. Sorry, these birds. Is this gonna be like an ongoing thing? But anyway, anyone can attest that there are plenty of masculine men in the gay or bisexual community. I've seen several men who you would never peg to be gay because they don't fit these stereotypes. So James, if you want a masculine man, you can find one. Just find one who's actually attracted to your gender. Okay, cool, problem solved. Now moving on to Tati. Honestly, I do have a lot of respect for Tati and I do think she's really genuine, but now that I've really thought about it and in hindsight, I do think that what she did was wrong. I don't think that she should have made this entire expose video on James Charles. From what James Charles has proven or you know shown with the text that he has, he did try to reach out to her and I feel like she really should have tried to resolve this in private before making it so public. I feel like that is the entire problem with the beauty community is they always love to settle things publicly instead of privately and it's honestly while it may be entertaining for a lot of us it's disgusting and it's at the detriment of their mental health and you know what something that's interesting to me are the players that always seem to be involved because look at the drama last year if you guys remember drama Geddon, which if you haven't watched my video on that i have a video explaining that entire drama situation that happened last year i'll link it down below as well back then the people that were involved was jeffree star gabriel zamora nikita dragon manny mua and laura lee james and tati weren't involved in that one i mean james has had six several scandals, but this one is massive and he was involved in this one, but who else was involved in it? Gabriel Zamora, Jeffree Star, Nikita Dragon hopped on at the end. It's those same three parties, especially Jeffree, who like to hop on to every single drama that comes their way. And I think that their behavior throughout this, especially Jeffree, is extremely disgusting, which I'm gonna touch on to because <laughs> I'm disgusted. I think that moving forward, I think Tati should deal with things privately, focus on what her channel was really about, which was the makeup. I honestly think that she is a beautiful, calm, Kind, respectable woman who is in a toxic community and she let that 
can't get to her and I think she just needs to stay in her lane and ignore the rest of the bullshit. You know, keep your friends close to you and have friends that aren't in the community as well. You know, don't be friends with Jeffree Star. Don't. Just end your friendship with James respectively. You know, hopefully you guys end on good terms, but I don't think they should be friends again. I honestly think that should they should all stay in their own lane because when they come together, oh, nothing but toxicity ensues. But now moving on to Miss Gabriel Zamora before Jeffree Star. Let me, go, let me ask you guys a question. Did you know who Gabriel Zamora was before Dramageddon last year? I didn't. I'm sure some of you didn't even know who he was before this one. Gabriel Zamora is the definition of a clout chaser. He has built himself based on the connections and friends that he has made in the beauty community and he latches himself onto every little piece of drama to stay relevant and to keep his name in people's mouths and it's honestly pathetic he's not even that talented at makeup honey there's nothing interesting about gabriel zamora the only thing that's interesting about him is the controversy that he spits out of his mouth gabriel zamora shut up go get a job and stop involving yourself in drama that doesn't concern you okay because at the end of the day it's not looking very good on you you look like a clout chaser you look pathetic and it's just not a good look honey okay and that's all i'm going to say on gabriel zamora because he's honestly kind of irrelevant. Moving on to Nikita Dragon because we will leave Jeffree Star for last because whew, whew, child, I got some things to say. Nikita Dragon, honestly, sis, you got away with drama getting lost, Jiro. You know, your tweets were surfaced and you made some excuses like, oh, I'm a different person now. I'm completely transitioned physically and mentally, blah, blah, blah. You still made the racist tweets. You still did it, okay? Instead of just making excuses, just apologize and move on, okay? I feel like, why do they always feel like they need to defend themselves? You can't defend racism, okay? Just apologize, say you've changed, and move on, okay? But she pretty much got out of that Scots free and now this time she came out with some messages with the sugar bear hair situation with James and people were saying that those messages were fake. I don't really know if they are or aren't. They seem to check out, but who really knows with these people? I think they're all very smart and very calculated. But my issue with Nikita is how much of a terrible friend she is. She made a video that was literally all about her dragon beauty line, which by the way, I'm so fucking sick and tired of hearing about her fucking makeup line. You've got two products, honey. You've got a color corrector <laughs> and you've got a a highlighter like you're not the first person in the game she thinks that she's so revolutionary honey pipe the f down okay there's other people out here with an entire makeup line your makeup line isn't that interesting i'm tired of hearing about it okay but anyway she clickbaited her video with called what really happened dot 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 with gabriel zamora and her in the thumbnail now obviously if you see that you think it's going to be about the james charles drama right the video was all about her dragon beauty and sis just completely clickbaited us all and if i was james i'd honestly be disgusted in that instead of my friend defending me she's just using me and using my situation Situation to get clout and to get attention to herself. It's disgusting. And you'll find that that's what a lot of these beauty gurus do is they just insert themselves into situations just to get attention or just to get clout. It's disgusting. And it's how a lot of them grow. A lot of them grow through negativity. Oh, and the video has 91,000 dislikes and 39,000 likes. So I feel like a lot of people are in agreement with me that she is a disgusting clout chaser. But that's basically all I need to say about Nikita Dragon. Now moving on to Jeffree Star. Now this is where where my opinions have changed drastically. I used to like Jeffree Star. I thought he was really funny. After the Shane Dawson video, I forgave him for a lot of the things that he did, but did not forget. You know, he likes to say that he's changed, but he really doesn't show that through his behavior. Jeffree Star inserted himself into this drama and you know, it didn't concern him. He made it seem like it concerned him by saying that there were some uncomfortable situations that happened with James and Nate and his brother. Yet James shows the receipts and shows that Jeffree was the one who suggested that James talk to Nate brother. I received yet another text from Jeffree Star. I've already cleared up Sam and our nights together being 100% consensual. He was absolutely not trapped in a hotel room. But Jeffree also brings up Zach. Zach is his boyfriend Nate's brother. And not only did I not pursue Zach, who identifies as mainly straight, but it was actually Jeffrey who suggested that I talk to him in the first place. Hey, Nate's brother is single and mainly straight. Oh. Right up your alley. Sounds good. And he- <laughs> Sounds great for me. Uh-huh. And uh, he just moved here, work. Zach and I talked on Snapchat for maybe a total of 10 selfies back and forth to each other. He was super, super sweet, but it was very clear to me that he was not actually interested. And the conversation stopped before anything could even get remotely flirty at all. Obviously we don't have the proof, but at this point I'd rather take James' word for it as opposed to Jeffrey, because as I will get onto, Jeffrey is completely and utterly hypocritical and he likes to chop and change his lies. And he honestly just can't keep up with them. But then Jeffrey went ahead and sent James a horrible message. Grayson is going on camera shortly to finally tell the world how you tried to molest him and touch him in his sleep and made him uncomfortable for months, you sick motherfucker. Next, Zach will be going on camera to tell how twisted and sick you were, trying to get him to like you and then make him feel bad when he didn't want to send you photos back. 
Then Sam from Seattle will be joining me and Cameron to talk about you trapping him in his hotel room. You need to be locked in prison for a very long time. You need the internet taken away from you. You are a danger to society. So yeah, that was a lot. Um, Jeffrey, those are some serious allegations. And on top of that, James' brother, Ian Jeffrey, made a tweet regarding something that was going on in his hometown, like somebody was bullying him or whatever, and Jeffrey just assumed that it was about the James situation and completely attacked this 17-year-old, saying, um, your brother's a predator, shut the fuck up, all this bullshit. Like, Jeffrey Star is in his 30s and he's attacking a 17-year-old online. You are a cyber bully. That is what you are. And he apologized for it, but at the end of the day, how many times is this person going to apologize before they actually start to change. You know, Jeffrey just keeps doing these horrible things and he just apologizes and the internet just forgets about it. But I'm not forgetting anymore. You know, I did it before. I'm not going to do it anymore. And I'm not telling you guys what to do, but I hope you guys really think about why you support Jeffree Star and if you should, because some of the things that he does are really, really shady. We've seen what he's done in the past. We've seen the racist things that he said in the past. We've seen the fights that he's had with previous people. You know, he, he always seems to be involved in drama. And in his recent video, which he just posted, which was called Not Anymore or some shit like that, he basically just said in that video that he was extremely apologetic for getting involved and how he's not going to do this moving forward and how he will not be involved in drama anymore and how he's changed and that is honestly just such a load of bullshit like you're Jeffree Star your career was built on drama you are involved in every situation that involves drama even if it doesn't even involve you you will insert yourself in everything you've always got something to say you are always tweeting and deleting that is part of Jeffree Star's brand he's messy and he loves to go on about how he's going to expose people literally the day before he posted this video yesterday he made a Instagram rant about the whole James trial situation and how he was going to have a video coming out that was going to expose James and all this shit. I will have to respond to this and I will show you guys things that um, I'm sure he never wanted to come to light, but here we are. But now that Jeffrey saw that James video is doing really well and James is getting subscribers again and people are believing him because, you know, at the end of the day, he did come out with receipts that prove his innocence. Now Jeffrey decides to go ahead and change his mind and make a video being apologetic and it's calculated because he took the time to see how everybody was going to respond to James's video and acted accordingly. Because now that everybody's on his side, if we were to make that video, people would be hateful towards Jeffrey. But now everyone's like, oh, you know, Jeffrey's so sweet. He's changed. He's apologizing. Let's just forgive him and forget about the whole thing. I um, have done things way too too publicly and today this is done and I want you guys to know that I am not who I used to be and I haven't been for a while so I'm not going to play the games that I started to play because that's not me I'm now ready to deal with this privately and I know that's shocking because I've made things so publicly and it has just hurt too many people so you don't get to just say let's forget about the whole thing when this has been going on for this amount of time and you've dragged it out and you've said some really serious things the allegations that Jeffrey Star made were extremely serious he was calling James Charles a sexual predator and saying he deserved to go to jail now why this is also hypocritical is because some tweets have come out of things that Jeffrey Star has said and the thing is Jeffrey Star can delete these tweets but the screenshots will always exist people will always know what you said he made some tweets about Justin Bieber's dick like oh I wonder how big it is when Justin Bieber was 16 and Jeffrey was 24 that is disgusting that is illegal that is predatory he was a child he was a minor and you're saying those disgusting things about him unacceptable and there was a video of Jeffrey grabbing some guy's crotch he literally has a song called straight boys where he speaks about all of the things he wants to do to straight guys <laughs> it's insane to me how much of a hypocrite Jeffrey is towards this whole James situation when this is literally what Jeffrey did James and Jeffrey's careers marry each other so much it's insane I don't know if Jeffrey has some sort of hatred towards James because he sees himself in him. He sees the things he doesn't like in James. But besides that, honestly, the two-facedness of it all, all of these people are so two-faced. You saw, if you watched James's video, you saw in the video how Jeffrey was saying that he banned James from his home in February, but then he's sending him these lovely messages in April like, oh my God, I miss you. I can't wait to see you. Jeffrey posted this tweet claiming he hadn't seen me since February and that Nate banned me from their home. Now, this so-called ban is the first time I'm ever hearing of this. And I just think it's really funny that Jeffrey brought this up concerning the fact that he's tweeted me twice in between February and now saying that he missed me. Like, make up your mind, bitch. <laughs> like, one minute you're saying this, the next minute you're saying this. It's honestly pathetic. And that's pretty much what this is. I'm not gonna generalize it, but the key players in the beauty community, the ones that I've listed in this video, Jeffree Star, Gabriel Zamora, and Nikita Dragon, are toxic, are hypocritical, and are disgusting, and their behavior is calculated. And they're manipulative. They are so smart, guys. They know exactly what to do to turn you guys around and get you on their side. And they manipulate their audiences 
and it's disgusting, it's petty, they're two-faced, and the way they behave is despicable. I do have hope for James Charles. I'm sorry. I'm pretty much done with Jeffrey at this point. His behavior is disgusting. I'm not going to get into the rest of it. There's plenty of videos out there. You guys want to see what he's done and what he said. But if you've watched James's video, you know what I'm talking about. But Nikita and Gabriel, they're irrelevant. They're cloud chasers. They're just whatever. Like, who gives a shit at this point? They don't offer anything interesting. But James, on the other hand, I do think he has a lot of learning to do, a lot of growth. And I, I have some faith in him. So I will be following his journey. I guess I'm basically a sister again. <laughs> but I'm not going to forget. You know, I always say forgive, but don't forget. I forgive letting his ego get to him because he is so young, but I'm glad that he has shown a willingness to improve and to change. And I'm glad that he gave us some receipts because that's what all of this was lacking. Everybody made a lot of strong allegations, but there were no receipts to back it up. Now that we've had this, hopefully the situation can be put to rest. But I do hope that people hold Jeffrey accountable because he always gets away with shit scots free. And people really need to stop supporting Nikita and Gabriel because their behavior is disgusting. Tati and James, hopefully they take a break. Hopefully they're well and hopefully James really is more grateful for what got him to where he is and he's not gonna let his ego run his life but anyway guys that's it for me in this video I really hope you enjoyed it I'm sorry my thoughts were like all over the place but I just want to go ahead and wrap up my thoughts on this because out of all the stuff that has come out since I made my last video I felt like I really needed to give you guys my concluding opinions and thoughts and yeah that's exactly what I did so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up comment down below what you thought of it I really love to hear your guys thoughts I'm really not gonna make any more videos about this drama situation I really prefer doing my my critique videos, my commentary videos. If you haven't seen my one about the diversity and the drama with Dote, I will go ahead and link it down below. But yeah, guys, that's it for me in this video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, turn on the post notifications bell, and all my social medias are just linked down below as per usual. Anyway, guys, that's it for me in this video. I really hope to see you in my next one, and I hope that you have a great day or night wherever you're in the world. Bye!